now you can see that it is congested you can see that these are looking congested you may want to increase the space that is there from the so if you see here okay we have the cell is here and there is some space and the cell is here and there is some space so you can increase this space also so let us see how we can increase the space to make it better so if you see format you first right click here okay right right click your mouse and then select the format cells okay and then you see the text and you see the border uh, alignment okay yes so if you see that there is a indent okay so if you see this indent okay if you may want to increase the indent or decrease it so if you see i have increased the indent what has happened is okay so it this left indent has increased okay just whatever the way you would want to so a left indent has increased okay if similarly you may want to increase the right indent so it will become okay so here it is only the left indent and right indent that is increasing let's see okay we are i am also learning border okay and then fill So I am not able to see, but uh, uh, in words they are there. Let's see. Okay, the format cell. Okay, you can left indent if you want to increase the indent on the left. You can increase it by one. So it will become like this. Okay. Another option is that what you can do is you can extend it, it like this. Okay, manually, or you can also choose the column width. So what I will do is I will right click here, select this column width, and I can change the column width. Let's say to thirteen. So I can make it thirteen. So the way I want is I can uh, if I want to make the column width here as twelve, let's say ten, I can make it ten. Right? So this has expanded. So you can experiment over here. So you here to change the column width, okay? You can make it let's say eleven also. So the column width has changed, right? And then if you want to make it all centrally aligned, whatever the alignment you want, you can do it, right? Then many times you may want to uh, give an idea about what is this so let's say people will not understand what is this pcp so you want the people to understand what is pcp so excel gives you an option to write the comment okay so add a comment over here so to add a comment what you do is you right click here okay and you see over here the icon is this insert comment so here they are saying that insert comment so right click and then select insert comment now this option m if you see underlined m is underlined it means that okay if you right click and press m button also this will come and so it comes with my name ratan okay because i have set the excel with my name so this comes as ratan you may change it also so suppose let's say i change it to knowledge varsity so here it means that knowledge varsity has written the comment so you can say that previous closing price okay so what will happen is the person who is now interested to know okay what this pcp mean he will just hover the button here okay hover the mouse here and see that it is mentioned as the previous closing price no so how he will know that it has comment so see this pre pcp there is a red icon here so this red icon in the corner it means that it is an it has a comment Okay, so he can see the comment. So similarly here, let's say I want to comment uh, over here close price. So I'll say that okay, closing price for the day. So I can write like this. Okay, then here this concept OI I want to write. This is called as open interest. Okay, so many people do not know. So let's say we say open interest. Now we have multiple comments. So these are all comments are there. Many times you may want to. give the user an option so that they can see that the comments are visible already rather than they want to hover the mouse to see you can you can make your excel sheet default wherein the comments are visible so what you have to do is okay you have to go to you have to go to review okay and see that there is an icon here so review and this is the comment section okay so all the items are related here to the comment section so you can 
maybe write new comment you can go to the previous comment next comment will see but you have an option to show all the comments so let's see i click here and i can see the all comment now the problem is this comment is overlapping with this comment so you can have an option to move it so i'll select the left mouse click the left mouse and select and i have now three three options so this also i can if i want i can remove here so note that one of the thing you will find that okay that if you remove it so there is an arrow from here to here it means that this comment is for this particular cell okay so this way you can select the comment so okay now what is previous and next means see previous means okay see if i click on previous it is changing from one to other so if you see okay i have reached this comment i want to go to previous it says that you have reached the end of the workbook do you want to continue review from the beginning of the workbook you say yes okay so it will reach to this comment again you say previous it will come here previous it will come here you say next come here next come here right then you can hide all the comments so it says that for the comment that you have selected okay you have an option to show or hide that okay so let's say suppose if i have if i say show all comment okay it will show all comment if i select this comment and i go here and say show hide comment it will hide it if i click here show hide comment it will hide it okay if i click here and say show comment okay so show hide means it's a toggle okay if the comment is hidden it will show if the comment is shown it will hide that is the idea correct now you can stop showing all the comments okay so this is one good way now if you have selected here if you press the next okay it will start showing you the next comment so you, all these are hidden okay and it will show you the next next comments okay right so this is how you can uh, go through the comment and if you want to delete the comment just you have an option to delete so now there is no comment here if i want to delete this comment i select here i have i can right click and i can go and delete the comment or i can click here and i can just see the delete okay right so this is how i can do now if you want to change this comment okay so let's say previous closing price okay you may want to change the see here i have this is bold you may want to make it normal font what you can do is okay you have a you can press right click there is a edit comment option so you can go to edit and you can select all of this okay and then this is bold so for that you have to go to home and click here so from bold it has become okay normal so you have now the previous closing price but i i will show you another way you can edit the comment you can go to review and you can select edit comment here and you can say that in rupees okay so this is how you can work and play with the comments comments are very good in fact you should start using the comments whenever you want to highlight some of the thing you can insert the comment so that the person who is reviewing your workbook he will be able to understand that what exactly you are explaining so if you have used some complex formula ensure that you use the comments over there okay